You came out a while ago, but just recently you sort of came out and spoke about it publicly. How, how are you do, doing with that? Um, it's been, I've gotten a really great response. Um, as far as, I, I get a lot of emails from people who tell me that they were inspired by the fact that I came out. So that's, that's been really good to hear from people like that. Mm -hmm. When did you know you were gay? Even when I was five or six years old, I mean, I, I tell people that even when I was watching the Dukes of Hazard, you know, I was trying to, like, the boys were looking at Daisy Duke, and I was trying to figure out between Bo and Luke who was cuter, you know. So I, even then I kind of knew. I just didn't know I was gay, but I knew who I was watching. You knew something was going on. I get it. I'm Superman. It was Superman yeah, for me. Did, it, you, did your grandfather know? No, he, he did in the last few years of his life, but not until then. Yeah. Um, you said your, in the introduction to you, I said your family cut you off. Did, did they stop talking to you? We talk about once a year or so. Um, you know, it's not the easiest talk, but uh, I, they haven't, like, formally cut me off. And, you know, we do talk about once a year. Yeah. All right. And what do you talk about? What do you say? Do they, do they want to pray it out of you, or do they accept you for who you are? Uh, they don't accept it. They, they really... They strongly believe that I'm going to hell for being openly gay, and I strongly believe I'm not, and so it's, it's hard to find a, you know, a middle ground between us. What do you say to them? How does that make you feel when your family says that to you? For me, I, I feel like they're trapped in a world that, in a lot of fear. They, I think they really are legitimately afraid that I am going to hell, and they, they're too scared to look beyond that, and so... It hurts me, but I also feel badly for them um, to be trapped or feel trapped in a place like that.